What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a cool off-meta slash meta-ish team that features Galarian, Articuno, Urshifu, and then you got the T-Tar and Garchomp combo. Really cool team, super excited to actually use this team considering I have not showcased Galarian Articuno on the channel yet. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was actually actually sent it to me by a fan, my boy Ted. Thank you so much for leaving this to me over on Twitter. If you guys want to go send me teams, make sure you guys head down the link in the description below. My Twitter is down there. Check it out and uh, send me teams. Either DM me or just tweet at me. Love getting fan-made teams. Absolutely love using them because a lot of them are fun and they're strong at the same time. So looking to rock out with this squad and get going with it. We got T-Tar in our first slot with Sandstream as its ability. Rocking the clear amulet as the item. Then a great move set of EQ, Rock Slide, Terror Blast, and Protect. In our second slot is the Galarian Articuno. And this Pokemon's design is through the roof. It is absolutely amazing. It has a great ability with competitive. Rocking the safety goggles as its item. And then it's got Freezing Glare, Air Cutter, U-Turn, and Tailwind for speed control. In our third slot is going to be Tyranitar's best friend. It is going to be Garchomp with Rough Skin and the Citrus Berry as its item. It's got Dragon Rush for big time stab damage. EQ for another move that does big time stab damage. Then we got Crunch and Protect for its last two moves. In our fourth slot, we have the strongest Pokemon in Regulation D. We have the Water Urshfu with Unseen Fist and the Choice Band makes this Pokemon do crazy amount of damage. It's got Surgeon Strikes, Aqua Jet, Close Combat, and Protect for its moveset. You guys seen that moveset plenty of times on the rank ladder already. Tornadus is in our fifth slot and this is just a great support Pokemon to make any team better. It has Prankster alongside with the Cobra Cloak, Rock and Bleak Windstorm, Dark Pulse, Tailwind, and Taunt. In our final slot, we got Heatran. Heatran, like I said always, is one of those Pokemon that you really can't go wrong. It's great typing, great defensive stats, everything about it is perfect. It's got Flash Fire and the Focus Ash with Earth Power, Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, and Protect. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that Regulation D ladder. Let's grab some wins with the Scalarian Articuno team. First off, when did they add fireworks? Is this new or just have I not noticed this? Look at the background, there are fireworks going everywhere. That's super cool, super dope touch. I'm absolutely loving it. But uh, dude, it looks so sick. It's just so mesmerizing, making me not want to pick my team and just look at the fireworks. But we're hopping into match number one, going up against Dragonite and Shen Pao. Dude, the fireworks are making me laugh so much. I love them. They also have Tatsugiri and Dondozo. Looks like a Gargonackle and uh, Co-Star Flamigo to pair up with that Dondozo. So how should we go into this one? Who should we play? I could go... Could go in with the Glaring Burn. Not too bad. I got U-Turn. I like its stats. Its special attack stats are really, really good. I am kind of scared of the... Uh, what's it called, though? I am scared of the Shen Pao Dragon. And I'm scared of the Dot though, so I'm scared of a lot of things here, actually. Who should I lead? I think Bird's going to be a great lead, which I am going to end up leading. And on top of that, I could go in with Urshifu. What do you got cooking here? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out ways we can KO Don Dozo, and that one seems like it's gonna be a bear, right? That's a tough customer for us with this team. It's definitely a tough customer, but I'm gonna go into these guys here. I'm gonna rock out with them. I am going to bring Guard Chomp and T Tar as back in Pokemon, which I really like. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. And where'd my fireworks go? They're gone? They ran out? The Pokemon company ran out of fireworks. They're all out of money. They spent it all on fireworks. That was hilarious, though. I, I guess that's like a today update, or maybe I just haven't noticed it. But there they are. They're back. Look at them. They look awesome. I love this touch that they added. I absolutely love it. Just so mesmerizing. I love me some fireworks. Like, real-life fireworks, they're tough to beat. They're real tough to beat. But Gargonacle is going to come out here alongside of Tatsugiri. And do we believe that to be a Storm Drain, Tatsugiri? There's a possibility. There's a possibility. There is definitely a possibility. I could go dark type here. I am scared of a few moves coming out here. But you know, I'm just going to freeze and glare and I am going to close combat the guard. Hopefully he doesn't tear it to ghost and he's just going to endure. That's fine. That's fine. It's definitely not storm drain, but I still I get off a big time close combat here and I bring this thing down to one. Are you sashed? Oh no, you're sturdy. It's getting sturdy with it. My boy's getting sturdy with it getting real sturdy with it is this thing exploding oh that's a that's a fair possibility right we might be in trouble this thing's exploding yep 
cool. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted to deal with. This thing exploding and that thing being toxic orbed. And now gonna hop into Dondozo's mouth and then co-star Flamico's gonna come out here. So we're in a little bit of a pickle. Maybe I should have set up Tailwind. This probably should have been my play. I'm gonna try to set up a Tailwind. Hopefully that Dondozo just protects. We know what's going on. This is getting a little scary. I kind of wish I had Haze or something ready to roll out strong. Haze Murkrow would be a beaut to have on this team right now. But Articuno looks so dope. I really did like its uh, stance. But I probably should have known that this combo or that thing was going to explode due to Co-Star Flamigo being next to Don Dozo in the team preview. I should have been prepared for it. But he's not able to KO any of my Pokemon. And it kind of lets us know what Pokemon he has in the back end too, right? I'm cool with that. We got the T-Tar, we have Garchomp in the back end, which is a little scary. But if I can pull off a Tailwind, that could be big time for us. A Tailwind would be lovely. A self terror type, which I want to keep right now. And our opponent's taking a while to pick. And it's got to be Don Dozer, right? Don Dizzy's got to come out here. Yeah, there he is. Don Dizzy Lee comes out here. He's ready to get cooking. Cool. So from here, I'm just going to keep close combating him. Trying to do as much damage as I can. And I want to try to set up a Tailwind. So we shall go for a Tailwind. This thing is just going to be a pain. <laughs> this thing is just going to be a pain. So I'll go Tailwind here. like to set that up and keep dropping the close combats. Actually, I should just protect here. I'm um, choice ban. I totally forgot. A little bit of choice ban action. So now we'll just go for the close combat. He goes for the EQ. That's fine because it is going to take out my Urshfu. But my Articuno survives and I can get off that tail. Give me a little bit of speed here. So I get a tad bit of speed. Hopefully, like, Articuno can outspeed now. Because I would love to drop some air cutters, all that good stuff. Get off some nice damage. But from here... This is where this is where we run into a slight bit of a problem, right? Because Flamigo is gonna come out here, co-star all the stats. So I'm gonna set the sandstorm. I'm probably gonna end up terrestrializing my my T Tar here, and I'm just gonna start throwing rock slides across the board. Oh, dude, that's so tough, man. It's gonna be a tough matchup for Jeans. Real tough matchup for Jeans. We don't like this one. We don't like this matchup. Bulky Dondos are gonna be paired up to co-star Flamigo. Come on, man. Stop with that. Stop with that. They're all going to be plus two on all stats. If we win this one, that'd be awesome. That would be amazing. It really would be nice. But they're taking a while to pick their last Pokemon. Like, come on. Just choose it already. I'm sick of this. I'm trying to think of ways maybe I could have countered that. That, uh, the explosion combo. Maybe just, just doubling down the Gargonacle would have been the play. Honestly, that, that, that would have been the play. Just double down in that Pokemon. He's going to send out Flamigo probably, right? Yep. He's going to co-star all the stats. Going to be a little rough. And now they're all plus two. Oh, Lord. Let's check it out. Oh, Lord. Uh, nah, yeah. What's your on me, man? Luckily, we do have Tailwind up. Should be able to get to work a little bit with that. And I am going to try to pop a Freezing Glare alongside with Terrastalizing. And just pop it a Terror Blast into uh, Flamigo. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're doubling down into the Flamigo. So, chances are, I would think he's going for like a close combat or something in my T-Tar, which I wouldn't mind, especially because we're Terrastalizing. We'll drop the defense stats so we can hit hard. But they still have Terror type of their own. So maybe they're Terrastalizing now, maybe they're not. Guess we'll find out. They're not. Raybird's gonna come out here into T-Tar, and no way you predicted that. There's just no way you predicted that. I don't believe you. Reason Glare now flies out here. This might even KO, which would be awesome. It does, so that's a big time KO. That's a big time KO. We are gonna die to sandstream damage, so that could be that could actually do me dirty. Now Terra Blast is gonna fly. So at least we get off a of Terra Blast here. You really brave bird into me? That's a great read. That's a great read. And look at us, we're doing about five damage. He ends up going for an EQ, so my bird gets to survive. My oh, and my T Tar gets to survive. Actually, T Tar's gonna die out to sandstorm damage. That sucks, man. Own T Tar is dying to sandstorm damage. But that was a great read from our opponent, dropping a brave bird. But now it's a 2v1, but it's not. Hmm, it's not anything crazy. We're not sitting in that good position right here. We really are not. If I have Citrus Berry on you, I could start throwing Dragon Rushes, but the, the accuracy on that is so tough. It really is. He might be choice in the EQ. This thing could be choice banded. I have safety aisles on here too. He's been dropping EQs. And if he's predicting me going into that Flying Terra, he could be a choice band 
Don Dozo. Definitely could be. So from here, I am just gonna go into. I'm gonna go into an air cutter with a high chance to crit. Actually, we'll just freezing glare. And on top of that, we'll go into Dragon Rush. He might be Choice Bandit. There's a possibility he could be Choice Bandit. So Dragon Rush can come out in here. It's gonna land. Show me your bandit. And freezing glare is gonna fly here. Okay, and also nice damage. Can we freeze? He I think he's bandit. I really do think he's choice bandit. That that's huge. That's huge. The guard is gonna take some damage. We have citrus berry. We should be able to eat up another one of those. Let me see. No, we're not. We cannot eat up another EQ, but I'm doing some crazy big damage, which I love. And the safety goggles working perfectly paired up with this team. So from here, I'm just gonna pop another freezing glare. I'm gonna go into another dragon rush. Actually, dragon rush's accuracy is low, so I'm just gonna EQ. And pretty much just win this match, right? I believe we do because we're out speeding. So we're gonna deal some damage on the Don Dozo. Freezing Glare can come out here. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Dominating in match number one. And Articuno getting working. Led this Pokemon, did not die out, and it looks stellar at the same time. Like, look at that thing's colors. It looks so good. I love this Pokemon so much. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Celebratory fireworks for match number one are playing in the background. We're hopping into our second match here, going up against a Grimstarl and Galarian Moltres team with Spectre Air. Golden Go, Hisuian Arcanine, and Storm Drain Gastron, which I gotta look out for a little bit considering I'm still gonna be bringing in my match. That Pokemon's just too strong not to bring into. So, uh, who should I lead? How should I go into it? Do we go bird versus bird? I'm gonna lead my bird. I'm all about the bird. Bird, 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 bird is the word. We're leading the Articuno here. Um, I can definitely see him leading Grimstarl, so a Pokemon I might wanna go into could just be my Urshifu, right? I can always close combat. I can I can do a lot here. They do have Intimidate on Arcanine, probably. So if they want to Intimidate my Articuno, I have Competitive, I will go plus two. So I can get down with that. So I'm going to go Urshifu here. And I'm also going to bring Titar Garchomp. So I think same squad, just different order is going to be pretty solid. Or I can lead Heatran. I could bring Heatran here. I mean, Heatran is not going to be too bad, but I just like the Pokemon that we have. Especially because they have no weather control. If I could just lock in Sandstorm at the end, that could be pretty good for us. So... We're locking in the squad. Let's go back to back here and start off today's video 2-0. Dude, the fireworks are tough. Look at them. Just bang, 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 bang. Dude, I'm a big fan of fireworks, yo. <laughs> I love fireworks. I only really watch them like one time a year on like 4th of July, but they're just, they're just so relaxing. I love them. But Spectre alongside with Grimstone is going to come out here. And from here, I am terrified of the ghost move. So I could tear the dark could be pretty good for us so i think i am going to do that and i'm just going to set up a tailwind for the rest of the squad so i'm going to tailwind here i'm going to pop a certain strikes and i'm going to go going to go after spectre i'm going after spectre it could swap into storm drain but if they do they do it's no big deal but for right now we're just going to attack get after it this way i'm te or no you're terrestrializing yeah that's their character I'm also going to Terrasalize, but he's going to Terrasalize into what typing here? It's a lovely fairy typing. No, ooh. Hold up, I'm dead. Draining Kiss Spectre is about to KO me. I'm a goner. Jeans is a goner. He's Draining Kissing me, 100%. And now it's perfect because I terrored in the dark. I was hoping he was Shadow Ball into this bird. Oh my lord, that terror type. Money for him. Money! The most perfect terror type. Let's go. And party shots can come out here. I'm now dark type. It's not working on me, buddy. And okay, you're nasty plot. I really like that. Actually, I'm actually happy you went for a nasty plot. And she just screwed your chances up now. Because now I surge strikes it. And I think I KO you. Oh, you just you messed up so bad. You had me. You had me. Oh, now they got citrus berry. So they're still in it. But nah, like we got we got the speed now. All that good stuff. We love it. You had me. You you had me there. I'll give it to him. I thought he's tearing and then just gonna drain and kiss and get rid of my Urshfu. That would have been big time play. But now, now you're sitting in a tough spot. Now you can't protect. Now we can straight up just start attacking this Grimstarl. And I'm gonna do this. And I'm just going to stay in the slot and just start to strikes. Cool. The partner shot's gonna come in the Urshifu. That's totally fine. The attack drop doesn't really do anything, considering we're critting every shot with the surge of strikes. That's big time. Big, big time. Big time that we're choosing in that move. So I wonder who he's going to swap into. Hopefully somebody that's weak to flying. That'd be, that'd be lovely. And it's going to be Gastro. Oh, oh, never mind. You do not have me. Actually, Air Cutter hits both, which is beautiful. 
We are boosting this thing, so we might have to swap our extra for later. So air cutter, good thing we did go into that, because now we get rid of Spectre, who was plus two. Plus two Spectre was not something we want to deal with. So I'll save my Earth Fu for back end. I am gonna swap it this turn. And we'll go from there. Arcanine now comes out here. Little Arcanine. Oh, dude, I want to hit the thing so hard. I want to hit that thing with certain strikes so bad. But he triggers my competitive. So now I'm plus two on special attack. We love it. We love Articuno's coming to play. So from here, I am going to freeze and glare. I am going to go after the Gaston. And cool. Our opponent turn off their console. <laughs> we love it, yo. Celebratory fireworks. Start sending them off. But they turn off the console. I was just going to attack with my Glare and Articuna and try to get rid of Gastrodon and swap out the Earth Street, but this match was pretty much unlocked. So, GG's to our second opponent. We made him quit. We're 2-0. We're killing it right now. Keep the fireworks rolling. We're 2-0. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Grab you guys a perfect record. But the last opponent quit, and that always feels good. We're going up against Grimstone again. Alongside, alongside with Storm Drain Gastrodon, and then they got Alolan Muck. A little bit of a low muck with Intimidate on Lando, then Glacier and Heatran. Really like an Articuno yet again. I can set off Tailwind. If they want to go into Intimidate, they'll trigger competitive. I like that all around. So I'm going to go into Articuno. I'm also going to lead a Pokemon like Heatran. And the reason I want to go into Heatran is because I think they are going to lead Grimmsnarl. So we can go from there. And then in the back end, we're going to go Urshfu and Garchomp by himself. Or do we go Titar by himself? Looking at this, I mean, we have EQ that would be super effective onto a few. Um, hmm. That's Steel Terror type. Or do I go into you? You got Rock Slide. And you have EQ of yourself, and you got a nice Terra. Hmm. I'm kind of liking Teton here. Actually, eh. I'd rather go Garchomp, especially if I think they're going to bring Gashadon. I'd rather have Garchomp. I'd rather have Garchomp. Okay. So, we're 2-0. This video went great so far. I don't really care if we win or lose this third and final battle, but I might try to win it. I might try to win it, grab you guys a perfect record, considering in my last video, we went 2-1, and one, and we lost one battle to a longtime viewer, my boy Gemini. GG to that match. He's actually been a member for two months. Huge shout out to him. But he screwed over my perfect record. Come on, man. Thought you were a fan of the channel. You gotta screw over the perfect record for the boys. Unbelievable, Gemini. But, yo, huge shout out to you, man. Really appreciate it. But they're going to go into Grimstone and they're going to go into Heatran, just like us. So we both have Heatran. Um, I mean, speed's already a big part of us. I might just U-turn out. And Flash Cannon. Or you know what? I'm going to Earth Power. And Tailwind. That's actually what I'm going to do. I'd rather just start going after the Heatran here. Who protects? I should have Flash Cannon and you turned out. I'm going to solid play. And he's going to go for a fake out on me. It's fine. Cool, I can deal with that. The neutral turn comes out here. Earth Power is going to get blocked. And now I think it's going to be the time to go for Flash Cannon. We're going for Tailwind now. I'm going to go for Flash Cannon. Do I Terra here? Yeah, I'll Terrasilize. I'll Terrasilize just because I think he's going to Terrasilize. Just because I think he's going to Terrasilize. I mean, we have Air Cutter for later usages into that. But I'm cool with Terrasilize, and I feel like Terrasilize and Heatran is usually a solid play. But he's gonna hard swap. He's gonna go into. We're gonna go into Gastro. The Gastro is coming out here. We're not going into Earth Power and him anymore. We switched it over to Flash Cannon just in case he wants to do something. Like Terrasilize, like we're doing. So I'm a Terra in the grass here. I wish we did have Terra Blast. I could rip the Gastro. But I now know they have Gastron, which we have to start getting rid of. Light Screen is going to come out here. We're going to take a little bit of speed here with this Talon. And we'll start getting it. They do have Light Screen. This should still do a nice chunk of damage. Yep, about half. Love that. And from here, uh, I guess I'll just start freezing glaring this thing. Maybe trying to freeze that, that little booger. So I'm going to do that. Um, honestly, I might just start Heat Waving. Now I'll just get rid of Grimstone. We'll probably set up Reflect and just die out. Yeah. He sets up Reflect. Maybe we get a Freeze onto the Gastro. Or even a Crit. Get off some big time damage. But Freezing Glare comes out here. Love that move from this Pokemon. And just give me a Freeze. No Freeze. I, I probably won't get a Freeze. I, I always suck at getting Freezes with RNG. 
So we get rid of Grimmsnarl here. Gastrodon's a little bit of an issue. Um, if I get rid of that, I really like our chances. He's gonna yawn into me. How dare you? What's your problem, man? Yawning into me? This thing's got leftovers. Yeah, if I could get rid of Gastro, we could be sitting in such a good spot. But the good thing is Heatran can't terrestrialize now. Actually, yes, he can. He didn't use Terra yet. And Glacier is gonna come out here. A bit of Glacier, which is a little bit of an issue. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that thing. It might honestly protect. I could definitely see it protect. I'm gonna freeze and glare into Gastro. I'm gonna go for Heat Wave. But it might just protect wait for me to go to sleep. Maybe I should have swapped the Heatran. But no, he's just gonna stay in here. Wow. He's gonna, he's gonna take up the Heat Wave. Freezing Glare comes out here. Give me a little bit of freeze, please. There it is. Thank you. Thank you for the freeze. They're probably gonna thaw out right now, but it's all good. Heat Wave now flies in. I think I actually just thawed it out, right? Doesn't Heat Wave just thaw out Pokemon? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Lovely. Iso Crash comes in here. I'm a goner. Articuno drops out. But I still think we're sitting in a decent position. Cool with this. I'm cool with this. Chilling Knight is gonna boost them. Gashon's kind of annoying me, and I'm going to sleep. Night, night jeans. Noit, noit jeans. So from here, hmm. I'm still gonna go into Earth Spirit. I like the close combat damage with the pull off here, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna go right after the glacier. Hopefully it doesn't Terra. He's got to go. So I'm gonna combat that thing. And I'll just I'll just start ripping the heat waves. Keep it that way. So Glacier probably going to Terrasalize here, but hopefully it doesn't have that good of a terror type. We can just rip into it. I would love to just dump on it this turn. But again, Gastro is just being annoying, right? Just being real annoying. And he does not. He's gone right now. No Terra comes out here. We get rid of Glacier. Now we're sitting really, really well. Really well, because I'm just going to take out the Heat Train next turn. And then just slowly take out the Storm Drake Ash on. I mean, unless he terrestrializes, but let's see how this one plays out here. Yawn's going to come out here. What is up with you yawning, man? Stop with the yawns. So now I do believe that Heat Train is going to terrestrialize. I might just go after Gastro. I might just go after Gastro. So he stops yawning me. Heat Train. So there's Heat Train. He's got a Terra. He has got the Terra. He's got the Terra. So I'm just going to go after you. And instead of Heat Wave, I'm going to Earth Power. Just try to get off as much damage as I can. Because I do think Heat Train's going to wake up here. So we'll see. We're killing it in this video so far. So far, so good. So far, so good. Let's see, is there Heatran going to thrash slice? Because if it doesn't, I'm going to be upset. Because that could have been just a free kill for us to KO Heatran. But he is definitely, right? Yeah. There's the Terror type finally coming out here. Wish I would have just... Or wish they used Terror earlier so I could just rip into that. And that thing's fire Terror. Wow. He's lucky I can't use water moves. And it kind of makes sense because I can't use water moves on the team. So he's just going to uh, make it a fire Terror type. That's pretty smart. So I close combat. I get rid of the Storm Drain Gashadon. We're now minus two, but if we can eat up a shot, we can get off another close combat. That'd be big for us. Can my Heatran wake up? But that's not KO me. We're good. Oh, it does KO me. Wow. Big damage from an EP. Not even stack. Can, can I wake up? Can my Heatran wake up here? Come on, man. You gotta wake up. <laughs> you gotta wake up. But luckily, we still have Earth Power. is gonna be super effective. And on top of this, one EQ should finish off Heatran. So I'm all about it. And it won't KO my Heatran. Everything's working out perfectly. Beautiful. So EQ is going to fly from me. And Earth Power is going to go after him. Double one down. If he protects, that'd be a pretty smart play. But I just think they're going to cancel battle. We grab ourselves a perfect record. Cancel battle. Cancel battle. Nope. No cancel. But EQ should be strong enough, right? No, this thing's beefy. He's a beefy Heatran. Real bulky Heatran. Earth Power is going to fly here and do a nice chunk of damage to me. And can my Earth Power finish him off? First off, I have to wake up. There we go. Wake up. And Earth Power for the win. Earth Power for the win. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0, a perfect record using Glare and Articuno in the regulation D ladder. 
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0 perfect record with this team. Did not expect to go 3-0. We did not really have a lot of meta Pokemon, but Urshfruit did carry us a little bit, but Articuno was a stud as well. Titar Garchomp doing a lot of work in today's video, and Heatran coming in that last battle, getting things done. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.